When CERN's Large Hadron Collider smashed protons together at unprecedented energies, scientists weren't just hunting for new particles. They were searching for something far more extraordinary, microscopic black holes. These quantum-scale phenomena, predicted by cutting-edge theories involving extra dimensions, could revolutionize our understanding of gravity and space-time itself. Today on Psi and Why, we're unveiling what really happened when the world's most powerful particle accelerator went hunting for the universe's most mysterious objects. The Quest for Quantum Black Holes CERN's scientists embarked on one of the most ambitious experiments in physics history, deliberately trying to create black holes in a laboratory setting. The search for microscopic black holes at CERN represents a fascinating intersection of theoretical physics and experimental reality. Unlike the massive black holes found in space, these quantum black holes would be incredibly tiny, existing at subatomic scales and lasting for mere fractions of a second. The CMS experiment at CERN's Large Hadron Collider has been actively searching for these phenomena since the facility's early operations. According to CERN's official documentation, some theoretical models suggest that microscopic black holes could form when particles collide with sufficient energy, particularly if our universe contains extra spatial dimensions beyond the familiar three. These theories, including the arkani hamid demopoulos Diwali model and the randall sundrum scenario, propose that gravity might be much stronger at quantum scales than previously thought. The LHC's proton-proton collisions at energies up to 13 TV create conditions where, according to these models, space-time itself could briefly collapse into microscopic black holes. If formed, these quantum objects would immediately evaporate through Hawking radiation, producing distinctive particle signatures that CERN's sophisticated detectors could potentially observe. The Theoretical Foundation The possibility of creating black holes in particle accelerators stems from revolutionary theories that suggest our universe has hidden dimensions we can't perceive. The theoretical framework for microscopic black hole production relies on models involving extraspatial dimensions. In standard four-dimensional physics, creating a black hole would require concentrating energy equivalent to about 10 to the 19th GeV, far beyond any human-made technology. However, theories like the ADD model propose that gravity might propagate through additional dimensions, while other forces remain confined to our familiar three-dimensional space. This would effectively lower the energy threshold for black hole formation to potentially just a few TeV, precisely within the LHC's operational range. Dr. Lisa Randall and Raman Sundrum developed influential models suggesting that if extra dimensions exist, the fundamental scale of gravity could be much lower than previously thought. These theories emerged to solve the hierarchy problem, explaining why gravity appears so much weaker than other fundamental forces. If correct, when protons collide at nearly light speed in the LHC, they could concentrate enough energy within a tiny region to exceed the Schwarzschild radius causing space-time to collapse into a microscopic black hole. The mathematics behind these theories is elegant but complex, requiring sophisticated computational models to predict observable signatures. CERN's Experimental Search Armed with the world's most sensitive particle detectors, CERN scientists began their systematic hunt for evidence of microscopic black hole creation. The CMS experiment at CERN has conducted extensive searches for microscopic black hole signatures in high-energy proton-proton collisions. Using data collected during the LHC's operations at 7 TV Center of Mass Energy, researchers analyzed collision events looking for the distinctive particle sprays that would result from black hole evaporation. According to CERN's published results, if microscopic black holes were produced, they would evaporate almost instantaneously through Hawking radiation creating characteristic patterns of subatomic particles detectable by the CMS detector surrounding the collision point. The search methodology involved examining invariant mass spectra of particle jets, looking for anomalies that couldn't be explained by standard particle physics. Scientists used sophisticated Monte Carlo simulations to model expected black hole signatures, comparing these predictions against actual collision data. The ATLAS experiment has also conducted similar searches, analyzing electron plus jet and muon plus jet invariant mass spectra with 140 inverse femtobarns of collected data. These experiments represent some of the most sensitive searches ever conducted for quantum gravitational effects, pushing the boundaries of what's experimentally accessible in fundamental physics. The surprising results. After analyzing millions of particle collisions, CERN's results challenged expectations and honestly, 
revealed something unexpected about the nature of reality. The experimental searches conducted by both the CMS and ATLAS experiments have yielded some pretty fascinating results. No direct evidence for microscopic black hole production has been found in the energy ranges examined so far. The CMS experiment's analysis of 7 tera electron volt collisions ruled out the existence of microscopic black holes up to masses of 3.5 to 4.5 tera electron volts for various theoretical models. More recently, the ATLAS experiment's search using 13 tera electron volt collision data set even more stringent limits, excluding quantum black hole production up to 9.2 tera electron volts in the Arkani Hamid Dimopoulos Dvali model and 6.8 tera electron volts in the Randall Sundrum model. These non observations are actually scientifically significant because they constrain the parameters of extra dimensional theories. The absence of black hole signatures at these energy scales suggests that either extra dimensions don't exist as these models predict, or the fundamental scale of gravity is higher than theorized. However, these results don't definitively rule out microscopic black holes, they simply push the energy threshold higher, potentially requiring future collider experiments with even greater energies to test these theories conclusively. Safety Considerations and Public Concerns The prospect of creating black holes on Earth sparked widespread public concern forcing scientists to address some pretty fundamental questions about experimental safety. Public fears about CERN creating dangerous black holes have persisted since the LHC's inception, and honestly, they've been amplified by popular culture and social media speculation. CERN has consistently addressed these concerns through comprehensive safety assessments and public education. According to CERN's official safety documentation, any microscopic black holes produced would be perfectly safe because they would evaporate almost instantaneously through Hawking radiation. The fundamental safety argument relies on cosmic ray interactions. High-energy particles from space constantly bombard Earth's atmosphere with energies far exceeding the LHC's capabilities, up to 10 to the 20th electron volts. If dangerous black holes could be produced at LHC energies, cosmic rays would have already created them throughout Earth's 4.5 billion year history. Dr. John Ellis and other CERN physicists have emphasized that even hypothetically stable microscopic black holes would be harmless because they would interact so weakly with ordinary matter that they would pass through Earth without effect. The LHC Safety Assessment Group concluded that the experiments pose no conceivable danger with multiple independent reviews confirming these findings. Hawking Radiation and Quantum Effects Stephen Hawking's groundbreaking theory predicts that microscopic black holes wouldn't grow and consume matter. Instead, they would explode in bursts of quantum radiation. Hawking Radiation Theory, developed by Stephen Hawking in the 1970s, fundamentally changed our understanding of black hole behavior. According to this theory black holes aren't completely black but emit radiation through quantum effects at their event horizons. For microscopic black holes this process would be extraordinarily rapid. Objects with masses comparable to elementary particles would evaporate in approximately 10 to the minus 27 seconds. The smaller the black hole, the more intense its Hawking radiation and the faster it evaporates. This creates a natural safety mechanism. Any microscopic black holes produced at CERN would immediately decay into standard model particles before they could interact with surrounding matter. The evaporation process would produce a distinctive spray of particles including photons, electrons, muons and quarks, creating detectable signatures in CERN's instruments. Theoretical calculations suggest that the temperature of Hawking radiation from a microscopic black hole would be incredibly high, potentially reaching 10 to the 17th Kelvin. This extreme temperature would cause the black hole to radiate away its entire mass almost instantaneously, making it impossible for such objects to grow or pose any danger to their surroundings. Implications for Extra Dimensions The search for microscopic black holes at CERN represents honestly humanity's first experimental probe into the possibility that our universe contains hidden spatial dimensions. The theoretical models predicting microscopic black hole production are you know, intimately connected to theories of extra dimensions. These models suggest that our familiar three-dimensional space might actually be embedded in a higher dimensional reality, with gravity able to propagate through these additional dimensions, while other forces remain confined to our observable space. The ADD model, which was developed by Nima Arkani Hamed, Savas Dimopoulos, and Gia Dvali, proposes that gravity appears weak because it spreads out through large extra dimensions. 
Meanwhile, the Randall Sundrum model suggests that we live on a three-dimensional brain within a five-dimensional space, with gravity concentrated near our brain by the geometry of space-time itself. CERN's experimental limits on black hole production provide, well, crucial constraints on these theories. The absence of black hole signatures at current energy scales suggests that if extra dimensions exist, they must be smaller or configured differently than some models predict. These results represent the first experimental tests of quantum gravity theories, providing invaluable data for theoretical physicists working to understand the fundamental structure of spacetime and the unification of quantum mechanics with general relativity. Advanced Detection Methods CERN's scientists, you know, have developed some truly revolutionary detection techniques to identify the fleeting signatures of microscopic black holes among millions of particle collisions. The search for these tiny black holes required developing really sophisticated analysis techniques to distinguish potential black hole signatures from ordinary particle physics processes. The CMS and ATLAS detectors use these multi-layered systems, silicon trackers, electromagnetic calorimeters, and muon chambers, to reconstruct particle trajectories and energies with, honestly, extraordinary precision. Scientists have also developed specialized algorithms to identify the high-multiplicity particle jets that would result from black hole evaporation, looking for events with unusually large numbers of particles produced in spherically symmetric patterns. On top of that, machine learning techniques have been employed to analyze vast data sets, training neural networks to recognize potential black hole signatures among the billions of collision events recorded. The analysis focuses on invariant mass distributions, searching for resonances or anomalies that just can't be explained by standard model processes. Researchers use Monte Carlo simulations, which incorporate various black hole models, to predict expected signatures, then compare these predictions against real data using statistical methods. The detection challenge is immense, potential black hole events would be extremely rare, requiring analysis of petabytes of collision data to identify possible candidates among overwhelming backgrounds of ordinary particle interactions. Future Prospects and Higher Energies As CERN prepares for even more powerful experiments, the search for microscopic black holes is, well, entering a new phase with unprecedented energy scales. The high-luminosity LHC upgrade, which is scheduled for completion in the late 2020s, will actually increase collision rates by a factor of 10, providing vastly more data for rare event searches. This enhanced capability could push the search for microscopic black holes to higher mass scales, potentially reaching the thresholds predicted by some extra-dimensional models. Looking ahead, future collider projects, including the proposed future circular collider, with energies up to 100 TV, would provide even more sensitive probes of quantum gravity effects. The increased energy and luminosity would allow scientists to explore black hole production at mass scales up to 50 TV or higher, definitively testing many theoretical predictions. Advanced detector technologies under development like improved calorimetry and faster data acquisition systems will enhance the sensitivity to black hole signatures. Theoretical work is also continuing to refine predictions, with new models suggesting alternative signatures that might be more easily detectable. Really, the combination of higher energies, improved detectors, and more sophisticated analysis techniques may finally provide the experimental breakthrough needed to either discover microscopic black holes or definitively rule out their production at collider energies. The Broader Impact on Physics whether CERN finds microscopic black holes or not, the search itself is, honestly, revolutionizing our understanding of fundamental physics and the nature of reality. The quest for microscopic black holes at CERN represents more than just hunting for exotic objects. It's really testing the very foundations of our understanding of space-time, gravity, and quantum mechanics. The experimental limits already established have constrained theories of extra dimensions and quantum gravity forcing theorists to refine their models and develop new approaches to unifying fundamental forces. The sophisticated detection methods developed for black hole searches have advanced experimental techniques across particle physics, improving our ability to discover other new phenomena. The safety analyses conducted for these experiments have also deepened our understanding of cosmic ray interactions and astrophysical processes. Even negative results provide valuable scientific information, ruling out certain theoretical possibilities and guiding future research directions. 
The interdisciplinary nature of this research has fostered collaboration between particle physicists, cosmologists, and theoretical physicists, leading to new insights about the universe's structure. As CERN continues pushing the boundaries of experimental physics, the search for microscopic black holes remains a powerful probe of reality's deepest mysteries, potentially revealing whether our universe truly contains hidden dimensions and whether quantum mechanics and gravity can be unified into a single theoretical framework. CERN's search for microscopic black holes represents humanity's boldest attempt to probe the fundamental nature of reality itself. While no black holes have been detected yet, the journey has revolutionized our understanding of physics and pushed the boundaries of what's experimentally possible. If you're fascinated by these cutting-edge discoveries and want to explore more mind-bending physics mysteries, hit that like button, share your thoughts in the comments, and subscribe to Sci and Y for more journeys into the universe's deepest secrets. Thanks for watching. Keep questioning reality.